So here we are on the seventh floor of 18 Gramercy Park. There are 16 residences in total. The bulk of our inventory are 14 full floor, four bedroom, five and a half bath residences that measure 4,207 square feet. Access to your apartment is directly off of the elevator. Uh, you'll use the key fob to access your floor. The gallery we're in right now is seven feet wide by 35 feet long. It has terrific wall space for your contemporary art collection. And you have a corner living room here overlooking Manhattan's only private park. At 15 Central Park West, I think it became very clear to everyone how important park views are. And with this building, everyone has a park view. So it's a, it's a very important selling feature for us. Let's talk a little bit about the private park for a second. Okay. Because when you buy an apartment here, you have access to the keys to this park. Correct. This is the only private park in Manhattan, and in order to purchase a key, you have to have an address on the park. Uh, last year, there were only 380 keys uh, throughout the whole world to this park. So this is the living room. Yes, you have 40 feet of frontage here on the park. You have uh, the option for several seating groups. The windows here are almost seven feet tall, and you can hear they're very quiet. This is a historic building that's been converted over. Well, this building was built in 1927, and okay. this is a heavily landmark district. So when we were doing the restoration and the renovation of the building, the developers worked very closely with the Landmarks Preservation Committee. They worked with Landmarks for two years just to get permission to increase the size of the windows. Because when this building was built, um, it was built as a residence for unmarried women who came to work in Manhattan. Wow. So the windows were sort of unnaturally small. Um, and, of course, today we like nice large windows and we wanted to sort of capture this very unique and special view. We're in the kitchen now. Our kitchens were uh, designed and built for us by Smallbone of Devizes, which is an English furniture maker. These are ca uh, furniture grade cabinets and, of course, they have all the bells and whistles as far as appliances. One nice feature is they come to us primed and every owner can choose their color and finish. So they sort of can customize a little bit here. This is the entrance to the master suite, which I think is one of the most luxurious and beautiful in all of Manhattan. It has two full baths, and the bedroom here has six windows and three exposures, and a terrific view of the Calder sculpture in Gramercy Park. And you've been breaking records with sales. Let's talk about that. We have been featured several times over the past uh, couple of weeks for um, recording the largest sales in Manhattan. And I think that's attributed to the fact that we have uh, large apartments um, developed by Zeckendorf Development with a proven track record of delivering exceptional properties um, in a great location. How much does 15 Central Park West, for example, Zeckendorf Development, develop to that project? It's a world-known entity at this point. How much does the reputation that comes off of a building like that affect um, a building like this and how you market it? The two properties have many similarities. Uh, obviously, Zeckendorf Development and Robert Ames Stern. Um, I think that having produced a building like that, we have, uh, we have a responsibility to always create the next greatest thing. And I think this building, although it's much smaller and more intimate in scale, um, sort of, because we only had a few units, we could really um, focus on creating uh, terrific finishes at a very high level.